This is calculator question number 23 from the March 2019 SAT exam. If you have not already tried this question, pause the video for a minute while you work through and then we'll compare answers. College Board says in a right triangle, the tangent of one of the two acute angles is root 3 over 3. So I'll draw a triangle, I'll label this angle x, we're told the tangent of x is square root of 3 over 3. The tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side, and that's in the ratio of square root of 3 over 3. So if these were the lengths, then this angle would have the correct tangent. There are other values that work, but any values you make up that work will give you the correct answer. And they're asking for the tangent of the other acute angle, which I'll call y. Tangent of angle y is the side opposite y over the side adjacent to y, which is 3 over root 3, which I can simplify that on the calculator and get 1.732 or something like that, and then find out which of the answer choices it matches. Or I can write 3 as root 3 times root 3, and that's over root 3. Root 3 over 3 cancels, so that's 1. So the tangent is root 3. But actually, I didn't need to simplify that. They gave it to us in the form 3 over root 3 for choice D. Alternatively, since this is a calculator question, I could have asked the calculator, what is the angle that has this value for its tangent? And on my calculator, that's second and then the tangent button for tangent inverse, which is not 1 over the tangent, that would be cotangent. It's the arctangent or inverse tangent of root 3 over 3, and the calculator says that is 30 degrees. The angle that has this value for its tangent is 30 degrees. So if x equals 30, then y equals 60 degrees. And they're asking what's the tangent of that other acute angle. So that would be tangent of y equals tangent of 30 degrees. And if I find tangent of 30, I'm sorry, y is 60 degrees tangent of y equals tangent of 60 degrees. If I find tangent of 60 on my calculator in degree mode, I get positive 1.732-ish. So choices A and B are wrong because they're negative. Choice C, root 3 over 3 is 0.577. And choice D, 3 over root 3 is 1.732, which matches. So I could have used the calculator to solve this also. College Board will typically ask you about trigonometry frequently on the non-calculator section, which is why I prefer to go over this triangle method of finding your other trig functions. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.